Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. So in today's video, I wanted to share a haul with you and this is a collective haul. Um, I have bought a few pieces here and there um, and some of them are Pandora and some of them are not and some of them are pre-loved and some of them are new. Uh, so let's get started with Pandora. The first thing I wanted to share with you is this piece and this is a bracelet and this is the Starry Sky Clasp bracelet and I already own one of these but I love it so much. Um, so recently Jared had a sale where they had their um, last chance stuff 30% off and they were giving you an extra 30% on top of that and they had my size in this bracelet so I literally jumped on it and got this. I love this clasp. I currently have um, my Infinity and Beyond bracelet on the other one I have and it's such a beautiful clasp. It has this big shiny shooting star kind of star in on one side and on the other you have a bunch of tiny stars with CZ in them. I love this. I love this clasp. Uh, so I just had to get another one of these. And while I was looking at what other charms they had, I found one that had been looking for for so long and they had it in stock. So, and the one I'm talking about is this one and this is the I Love Reading charm. I'm sorry, it's just so shiny that the light is reflecting off of it. But it is this book that says I Love Reading and it has a pair of glasses dangling in the front. The back is plain. So this charm does open up and it has an inscription inside. It says, if I can focus on it, <laughs> says ignore the things you have to do and just enjoy a book or two. I really love this charm as I said I had been looking for it for a while and when I saw it on Jared I literally jumped on this and the bracelet and I'm so happy to have found both these pieces because as I said I've been looking for them for a while. The next charm I want to show you is Pandora, but it is pre-loved and it is this one and this is called the Mars charm. I love the oxidized details, I love the CZ details and that's just a beautiful charm. It is a little bit worn because as I said it is pre-loved, but I just love this. There's another charm that's very similar. It's called Moonscape. Um, it has less of these bubble details or these round details on it. It just has a few here and there. And it has, again, an oxidized um, backdrop to those uh, pieces with the CZs in it. It's really pretty. I'm on the lookout for that one too. I just haven't found it for sale yet. But when I saw this one, I just had to pick it up. And the last Pandora charm I got, again, which I had been looking for for a very long time, is this I Love to Travel suitcase charm. It just says, I love to travel with a heart, and it has this really dark burgundy-ish uh, enamel in the heart. I know it come, it's coming out as black, but it's very dark, dark red burgundy color. And this was a charm that was exclusive to airlines, some airlines, and as soon as I started collecting Pandora and I came to know about this charm, I travel a bit and my husband travels quite a lot for work, uh, international trips, so I made him check each and every airline and every segment that he's been on, Europe, Asia, you know, 
um, all of those and we just couldn't find this charm. So I just found this pre-loved at a decent price because some of these charms, even pre-loved, are crazy expensive and I just couldn't afford that. But I found this at a fairly decent price and I got this. I love this charm. At the back, it has the name of the continents. It says Asia, Europe, America, Africa, and Australia. And I do love to travel. I've been to Asia. I've been, I obviously live in America, but I've been to some places other than where I live. I've been to Europe, but I still need to do Africa and Australia. And I really, really want to do Australia. So I'm hoping all this corona business kind of goes away and life goes back to normal so I can go back, back to planning trips, hopefully soon. But yeah, I love this charm. I'm so stoked that I found it. So this was the last Pandora piece I got. Uh, then the next charm I got is a brand that I don't have anything from. This is the first one. And this is from Camellia. And this is the bird's nest. I love the details on the bird's nest. And in the bird's nest, you have three gray pearls uh, that represent the eggs. Now, as some of you might know, I have three boys. And when I saw this charm, I just knew I had to have it because it's just so beautiful. And it just rep represents my three boys and it will look beautiful on a spring bracelet. The first time I ever saw this charm was in Lily's video. She goes by Pandora by Lily on Instagram and here on YouTube too, I think. And I just fell in love with this charm. I love the details on it. I love the pearls. I love how it's just perfect for to represent my boys and just would look so beautiful on a spring bracelet. So yeah, I really, really love this charm when I saw it in her video and I really wanted to find one. So I was very excited to get it. And as I said, it's a new brand for me. I don't have anything from this brand, so I'm happy to find this piece and in such a good condition too. And the last piece I wanted to share with you guys is from Troll Beads and it's something I've wanted for a very long time and I'm so happy to have found it and it is this anemone pendant. I love the details on this. Just look at the vines growing all over with the flower. I love the details on the flower. I love how big this piece is and it looks beautiful on a bracelet or a bangle and it looks beautiful on a fantasy necklace. So I think I'm going to be wearing it both ways. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to have found this. Um, it's still sold in stores, so it's not like it's retired or anything, but it's an expensive piece. So when I found it very, very gently pre-loved at half the price, I just, I couldn't resist and I had to get it. It's, as I said, it's beautiful. And what you can actually do with this, let me see if I have a glass bead. What you can do is you can put a glass bead here in the middle and that's how it shows. And I just think that looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this piece. And as I said, I'm so, so happy to have found it. So yeah, guys, that was my haul. Um, I love all the pieces I got. I got really lucky with a lot of them. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited about designing with all of them. And yeah, I, I still have a ton of things on my wish list, especially retired items. So I'm hoping I find them one by one and I can whittle away that wish list. But yeah, I'm happy to have at least some of them off of that wish list. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up.
and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would consider subscribing i hope you guys stay safe and i'll see you in my next one bye